Welcome to our latest update on the exciting developments in the world of international finance and currency management. Today, we are diving deep into the recent statements from Newshound and Intel Gurm M&T GOAT, highlighting the pivotal role of electronic systems in modern banking and currency management. Let's explore what this means for the process of deleting zeros from the currency, a critical step towards economic stability and growth. Over the past decade, We've seen a significant push towards digitization in the financial sector. The implementation of electronic systems is not just a trend it's a transformative shift that is reshaping how economies operate. According to M.T. Goat, these electronic systems are crucial for the success of the Delete the Zeros project. But what exactly does this entail? The Delete the Zeros initiative refers to a process where a country re-denominates its currency essentially removing zeros from the face value of its banknotes. For instance, a note that previously had a value of 1,000 units might be reissued as a note worth just one unit. This process is more than just a cosmetic change it's a comprehensive strategy aimed at controlling inflation, stabilizing the economy, and enhancing the value of the national currency. One of the critical components of this process is the reduction of tangible currency notes in circulation which is where electronic banking systems come into play. Electronic banking facilitates a significant reduction in the reliance on physical cash. By promoting digital transactions, governments can effectively decrease the amount of paper money circulating within the economy. This reduction is crucial because a smaller monetary base can help increase the value of the currency that remains in circulation. Dr. Shabibi, a renowned economist and former governor of the central bank, emphasized the importance of electronic banking efforts as far back as 2010. He pointed out that a robust electronic banking system offers numerous advantages, including increased efficiency, better tracking of transactions, and enhanced security. More importantly, it supports the macroeconomic objective of currency re-denomination. When electronic transactions become the norm, it naturally leads to a shrinkage of the physical currency mass. As people and businesses rely more on digital transactions, the demand for physical cash declines. This decline allows the central bank to withdraw excess banknotes from circulation gradually. With fewer banknotes in circulation, each remaining note's value can increase, assuming the overall demand for currency remains stable or grows. This strategy aligns perfectly with the broader goals of economic reform. By shrinking the monetary mass, the central bank can curb inflationary pressures and foster a more stable and stronger currency. The resulting economic stability can attract more foreign investment, boost investor confidence, and promote sustainable economic growth. In conclusion, the integration of electronic banking systems is not just a technical upgrade but a fundamental step towards achieving a more stable and prosperous economy. The move to reduce the physical currency in circulation through enhanced electronic banking is a crucial strategy in the Delete the Zeros initiative. As we continue to monitor these developments, it's clear that the future of currency and economic management lies in the digital realm. Stay tuned for more updates on this transformative journey. Thank you for watching. If you found this information insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more updates on global financial trends and economic strategies.